Hello, good people, I'm Dimitri, and today I want to experiment with something. And this something has been on my mind for a very long time, ever since the closing off of the front panel for cases has become the trend, because there you compromise on the airflow. So then what happens if you reverse the case airflow that is uh, intaking with the rear fan and exhausting through the front. And I'm talking about cases like this that have a completely closed front panel, but potentially might have some sort of ventilation on one of the sides or both sides, like with the H700 uh, NZXT case. So we'll see if having this sort of unrestricted intake from the rear and then maybe perhaps like a slower exhaust from the front panel so it doesn't just bounce back will actually give us anything better instead of for the front fans having to fight for air because of this tiny gap here and on this enclosure. So we shall see. And I'm curious to see the results. Hope you're too. Let's check it out right after this. Hi, I'm looking for a case. Well, look no further. I got this beauty. The H700i by NZXT. With all steel premium frame, with a side of temper glass to beautifully showcase any cooling adventure you might pursue and cable management system that you wish you had earlier. All this lit up with integrated RGB lighting and built-in fan control. The H700i. This one's for you. Oh, I'll take it. All right, so for my cases, I'll be using these guys, the H700i from NZXT, and this super cheap case for around $40 from Kohling, which is a mix between like the S340 Elite and the P300 uh, from Fantex, and that the front panel on both cases is closed for that visual elegance that relies on side ventilation to deliver air, and this approach to front panel ventilation is quite common, so let's see if reversing the airflow direction will improve our temperatures. Now, since I am air cooling my most recent case of choice was the H500P mesh because of that open front panel, allowing that strong column of air to replace the entire interior volume every second without the common restriction on airflow. And to add some extra case heat, we've got the Galax GTX 1070 Ti that spits hot air into the case. So I'm using my Ryzen 1700X system for the baseline temperature comparison inside the H500P mesh by Cooler Master. I've removed the front panel so you can see what fans I'm using. And these are my favorite case fans by far, the Silent Wings 3 by Be Quiet. So I have two of them, 120 mils in the front. I have a 140 for the CPU cooler and the 120 at the rear back so I'll be using the exact same fan configuration and system across all three cases to see what the temperature difference will be. And I am running these fans at full speed about 1450 rpm because they move a lot of air and they are extremely quiet. I cannot hear anything while the system is at load. That is the power of air cooling. Also, the reason why I'm not reversing the airflow inside the H500P mesh is because the front panel is already non-restrictive, so there's no reason to try to combat the poor air that you might expect from a completely closed front panel. So I am starting with a cheaper case because the front panel is basically completely closed aside from the tiny ventilation. And if my hypothesis is correct, we'll get more fresh intake from the rear so that the CPU will be cooler. And then we'll see what happens when we are exhausting through the front. So the first system is assembled. I absolutely love the way this looks like the whole matte black. I mean, ignore the GPU, but uh, this definitely shows this is a cheap case. I mean, look at these non-reusable PCI slots. I had to use pliers in order to get them out because that entire section for the PCI slots, non-reusable. So the first temperature test is complete and it got really toasty inside, but I did make a mistake. So initially I had mounted these fans outside of the frame. So they're basically just touching the front panel, which is a bit unfair. So I have remounted them to be on the interior of the frame, giving us a little bit extra space for that intake to actually do its thing. And that way we can actually see what the difference would be when I had to, when I reversed the fans too. So there is space for the air to exit. All right, it's time to reverse the fans. And the reason why I chose the Silent Wings 3 is because they have the clips uh, mount instead of using the screws. So it's simply thing of popping the fan out, rotating it, and I don't have to even touch a screwdriver. Nice. The same thing for the bottom fan, boom. And I've also rotated the CPU fan and I'm keeping it in this position because 
I feel like mounting it here would be way too close to the rear intake and therefore this allows for this like nice airflow channel instead of a, two fans being so close together. Let's see what happens. Now my main concern with this setup is not GPU temperature because I feel like it's spitting out hot air so regardless of the air direction it's all uh, present in the interior but the front exhaust fans I'm worried there's nowhere for the air to go because this thing is completely closed and only the side ventilation is available and I'm worried that hot air will bounce back into the encase creating a lot of turbulence but I am interested to see how that additional intake at the rear will provide additional that cool air for our CPU. All right, so the first reversed airflow test is complete. I can feel a lot of heat coming right from the side here because that's the only way the heat can escape at the front panel, but the CPU and GPU temperatures are surprising, so I'm gonna see if we can recreate that behavior inside the larger H700i. All right, so the system is now assembled inside the NZXT case. I can definitely feel more air being exhausted from the sides because of this dual side ventilation. So now let's do our stress test and see how the CPU and GPU behaves in the reverse airflow order. Now I realized with my previous configuration with the CPU fan being in its default orientation, but just uh, pulling air instead of pushing might introduce some static pressure differences. So instead I routed the CPU fan to push air through the CPU heatsink. And I'm thinking that was a fair way to compare uh, the static differences between the two orientations. All right, people, so the data is in. Let's take a look at the mothership graph. So starting off with the H500P mesh as our baseline, we have respectable load temperatures. Moving on with the CPU load as priority, as I expected, the additional unrestrictive cool intake from the rear benefits the CPU in this reverse scenario, but GPU temperatures suffer quite a bit, especially when compared to the normal intake and exhaust orientation inside the H700i, but with a slightly hotter CPU. Next up is the cold link in the reverse orientation. Again, having that cooler intake from the rear lowers our CPU temperature a little bit, but there's no way for all that hot air to properly exit through the front, resulting in a throttled graphics card. Whereas the default orientation balances out the GPU temperatures, but with a hotter CPU. And also keep in mind, if you rotate the rear fan for intake, dust accumulation is a concern and no case ever comes with a dust filter for the rear. And so it is pretty clear that front panel design is crucial for temperatures. So if you find yourself in a situation where your case has really restrictive front intake, potentially rotating that exhaust fan at the back for intake will help your CPU temperatures as long as you don't mind the higher GPU temperatures uh, and potentially ramping up the fan on the GPU to combat the hotter temps. And I think the GPU is hotter because the exhaust fan originally helps to remove a lot of that heat for the GPU, especially if it's uh, circulating inside the case, but also perhaps there's some recirculation of the exhaust that's happening that goes back into the case via that rear intake fan. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful and let me know what type of fan orientation that you have going on for your system and what you found to be the optimal situation uh, in your scenario. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out our nine fans inside a case video. That's uh, pretty helpful for uh, individuals who want to play around with intake exhaust for nine fans. So that's pretty cool. And we'll see you in the next video.